He played the popular titular wizard Harry Potter, bringing the magic to the big screen for 10 years. But now Daniel Radcliffe, 28, is the latest star to wade into the row over the casting of veteran actor Johnny Depp in the latest Fantastic Beasts film, from the spin-off to the Magic franchise, following his controversial divorce from Amber Heard in 2016. Speaking to Entertainment Weekly, he he understands fans' frustration over the boss's decision to bring the Pirates of the Caribbean actor back into the franchise, particularly after a Harry Potter star was caught with drugs during filming. Scroll down for videos some fans have slammed Boss's decision to bring back the 54-year-old actor for his role as Gellert Grindelwald in the Fantastic Beasts sequel because of the abuse allegations made by ex-wife Amber. In the shocking case, she claimed he'd been abusive towards her throughout their marriage before later dropping the allegations. Producers did consider recasting the villain, but later decided against it as the allegations had been dropped but Daniel can see why fans are annoyed by it. Chatting to the publication, he said, It's a very hard thing for me. The Fantastic Beasts producers are the ones who gave me a great start in life and an amazing job. I can see why people are frustrated with the response that they were given from that. I'm not saying anything that anybody hasn't already said. The woman in black actor took from his own experience in the Harry Potter franchise, likening the current situation with that of the arrest of Jamie Wyatt, who played bully Vincent Crabbe in six of the Potter franchise films. He was busted for possessing cannabis, before pleading guilty to growing the drug at his home in northwest London in 2009. Vincent Crabbe only featured in the first six Potter franchise films and Jamie did not reprise his role following his arrest. Daniel drew comparison with Johnny's recasting, suggesting that what he is accused of is much greater than the drug bust of his fellow Potter castmate. He continued, This is a weird analogy to draw, in the NFL. There are lots of players arrested for smoking weed and there is other people's behavior that goes way beyond that and it's tolerated because they're very famous players. I suppose the thing I was struck by was, we did have a guy who was reprimanded for weed on the original Harry Potter film, essentially, so obviously what Johnny has been accused of is much greater than that. In December, author of the hit Wizarding Adventure novels J.K. Rowling defended her decision to keep the Donnie Brasco star in the Harry Potter spin-off sequel following the abuse claims, despite revealing she considered pulling him from the film. She wrote in a statement, When Johnny Depp was Cass's grind old, I thought he'd be wonderful in the role. However, around the time of filming his cameo in the first movie, stories had appeared in the press that deeply concerned me and everyone most closely involved in the franchise. Harry Potter fans had legitimate questions and concerns about our choice to continue with Johnny Depp in the role. As David Yates, longtime Potter director, has already said, we naturally considered the possibility of recasting. Depp and Heard split in April 2016 after 15 months of marriage amid claims of domestic abuse by Depp. They later issued a joint statement saying there was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. Fantastic Beast, The Crimes of Grindelwald is scheduled for release in November 2018.